Hey everyone, AI art has come such a long way and in the past 24 hours, ever since I found out about Mid Journey, I've been having a blast just thinking about it, researching about it, and actually logging in and trying it out just to create some of these amazing art here. As you can see, all of these are AI generated art. Yeah. It's amazing and it's actually affordable. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars just to create art or even photo shoots or even pay somebody to draw all of this. Um, I know there's some pros and cons in terms of AI art and real art, but um, the fact that you can use text to request images that are this amazing of this quality, um, <laughs> enough said you know i i highly recommend for you to join if you haven't already uh mid journey is using uh discord and it's really easy to just log in and test it out um you just go to midjourney.com click on join the beta if you do have a discord account um you would just be asked to log in and accept the invite if you don't have a discord account it's really easy to sign up straight from this page as well uh, discord is a uh, a chat community like system where you can go in and join different communities just have your friends hang out with your friends all that stuff so um, it's actually pretty cool and i no longer have the app but you can use it in the web browser on your mobile phone as well um, this one i'm using on the mobile on the uh, pc here but uh, as soon as you log in we're in the mid journey server this is a specific, uh, specific server for mid journey and uh, there's homes and there's a lot of stuff on the sidebar all of these are channels um, and then in the center here almost immediately you can see the art uh, more art that you can appreciate and these are really fun to look at uh, mostly because you know someone took the time to create all of this and um it, it's nice to see like what people are inspired by and what people are interested in um if you go to different showcases there's show and tell uh like these are some really uh specific kind of art style of ai generated <laughs> art so that's that's pretty neat and you get a lot in here that i highly recommend you checking out as well um but to get started, it's really simple. So I would just click on a newbie's room. Um, any of the newcomer rooms on this left here, just click on those. And then in the chat, you just type in slash imagine. And then anything you want. So let's say you want to create something fun or crazy. You just type it in there and have a blast. So I would just say uh, slash imagine uh, the world melting in a pool of uh snow um in the middle of the universe and then if you're happy with that prompt you just press enter now if you do have a free account it is limited to 25 tries um and that that's it after 25 you are done um, but there are subscription um, base that you can pay yearly or monthly and it allows you to do more and more and more. So um, I'm going to show you real quick. Uh, the basic plan is $10 a month. Um, and then you have the standard plan, $30 a month, unlimited, um, and then $60 a month, unlimited, but more like you can do faster um, in terms of you can get your images faster. Um, yearly, uh, yearly billing is $8 a month, $24 a month there for standard and then pro plan at 48 a month. And I highly recommend sticking to the standard plan on either, uh, because when you have 200, it's actually not enough unless you plan to log in like one night and that's, that's done. <laughs> um, but just from my experience after trying this out, it actually, I just haven't stopped since I started. It's just it, it keeps you intrigued enough because you know if you're artistic and you can draw and you can do all this paint then yeah like it does take hours but i'm just thinking of the fact that if you have the imagination and you just want it to come in real life like i have characters and novels that i wrote when i was in high school um, <laughs> that's a long time ago and i haven't been able to just picture them for a while and being able to just say you know what can you create that character for me um and they came to life that's just amazing um that's one of the pros there but i, I see that you can do 
lots of concepts, lots of marketing, lots of business tools, lots of um, cute little things. Um, but once you're, if you're wondering where your art is, it does take some time. Um, if not, it should be in here. So if you can't find it when everybody else is, since you're sharing with everybody else, it's a little bit hard to find yours. You just click on this little inbox up here and then you'll see all the ones that you have worked on. So this one is the world melting in the pool of snow in the middle of the universe. Um, you would just click on jump and it'll take you to your post and then click on this again and you'll see, wow. Okay, this is pretty cool. You can see some sort of world or moon melting into like <laughs> the universe in the background. Um, that's really cool. I actually like all of these images. I have no problem with any of them. Um, so if you do like them and you want them in a larger size on its own, what you do is you click on um, upscale and the number that you want. So this is uh, quadrant one, two, three, four. So let's say you adore this first one. You would just click on upsize one and you're asking Midjourney to create a larger scale of it so you can save it. So you can use it for anything that you want, like on the outside. You can use it for uh, wallpaper. You can use it for marketing and that purpose. Um, and then V's down here just means variations. So let's say you're creating like an, another image like this and you don't like how something looks. You like you love the image where something's off or you, you, you love it, but you want just a little bit more variation. Uh, what it does is it, it changes the background and it changes the um, maybe slight facial features or like if someone's not smiling, they might be smiling or their eyes are a little bit bigger. Uh, just slight variations on those. And if you hate this, like all, all of these that you don't like, you can always press on this and it would just redo it for you in the same exact uh, prompt. Um, here, I'm just going to click on upscale one, U1, and then that's going to um, tell Midjourney that I want the larger version of this. Uh, when it's done, you're actually going to hear a sound. It's the usual Discord sound, um, and then it'll be at the bottom down here. But since we're just in the middle of nowhere, you don't see it. And then if you're doing something, you always find it back up top. I'm just going to show you a couple other ones that I start doing. This one's a deer. Um, this one's actually generated by ChatGPT. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Um, this is some deer in the middle of the road again. This is the, my original prompt. Yeah, I'm not that creative. Um, this is some of the characters that I had played with when I first started, like a vampire inspired, a, a post-apocalyptic inspired. Um, and then you can see sometimes it doesn't read well. And I, I asked for her to wear a black shirt and they actually put her in the black shirt. So yeah, you just, it's a trial and error. Um, and you're curious to, to be like, wait a minute, I don't know what to write. Like, where do I start? I highly suggest for you to just check out the community. Um, everybody here, like when they do it, it's in the public. You can see how they created something, right? You can learn from them. So just be open, learn from them. Um, go on Reddit, go on YouTube and figure out what people have worked for them like this person here is like a flat file letter a w logo in 90 style um, being specific and being specific in terms of like artistic words right or photography words like that helps a lot like say i want a realistic photo i want a watercolor photo um just something like that so i'm going to click up top here on the inbox and you can see they they upscaled my image click on that. This is a bigger size and then open in browser. Um, so now I can save this photo to my computer by just right clicking and save as. Um, before I let you go though, I do want to show you um, how to use ChatGPT to create a prompt. So I'm going to go back to my prompt here and just copy this and open up ChatGPT. If you don't know what ChatGPT is, is an AI writer. It does a lot of writing for you. It can help you code some websites. It gives you HTML coding. Um, you can learn a lot from them, do a lot of research. It is also absolutely free. You just go to openai.com and sign up for an account. Um, so here, I'm just going to ask it to do something for me. Um, same request, similar to Midjourney. So I'll just say, uh, write me a text prompt. And then just 
uh, paste in what I had earlier and then just put for AI art. All right, so once I hit enter, uh, you'll see that it'll start writing for me. A lot of these is very descriptive, which sometimes if you're not creative, you can use ChatGPT to help you um, get some ideas. Again, this will just help you generate, like, your, you know, spring up your creativity a little bit. So uh, once that's done, go ahead and just paste it back into your Discord. I would just go slash imagine. You can press space or just click on here and then click paste by doing right click uh, paste or just control V on your um, computer and then press enter. And now Midjourney is going to create a photo of um, your AI generated um, prompt. And as you can see, sometimes it's slow and your still shows up. Um, you can see the percentage that it gets take to get done. Um, and then it looks a little bit like blurry at first and it'll always look like that way. So just have a little patience and just wait a little bit. And once it's ready, you'll be able to see immediately um, how it looks. So I'm just going to click on this. And this is the result that we got. It's a little bit more creative than what I had. The other one looked a little bit more realistic. This one is more like fluid and dynamic. So, you know, just I encourage you to give this a try. Midjourney is awesome. And if you're interested in other AI generated text to uh, image or AI generated um, tools, um, check out my other videos on Canva as well as ChatGPT. Thank you.